Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about perfumes from the Italian niche perfume house that is called I Profumi del Marmo. And I came across this perfume house for the first time when I was at Accents. And I really liked the design of the bottles. They looked really exclusive and very unique. So each perfume represents a specific kind of a marble. And I was familiar to the perfumes that represent different uh, kinds of stones or different kinds of um, elements of the earth, but perfumes that represent marble was definitely something new for me. So let's talk about the concept of this brand a little bit more in details. The scents of the marble are born from the happy intuition of an industrial young person of Carrara that it has intention to associate the noble material of its earth to some fragrances that evoke memories and emotions that only this territory succeeds to transmit. And we will start this review with my favorite perfume that is called Portoro. And this is how it looks in the real life. So the cup of the perfume is made of the marble that this perfume represents. So Portoro is my favorite perfume from this brand. It is very unique, it is exclusive, it smells very niche and very luxurious. So let's talk about the notes that this perfume features. It has a very beautiful top note of lime, pineapple, strawberry, apple and plum. Heart notes are iris, jasmine, lily of the valley and rose. And the base is especially beautiful with notes of cedarwood, sandalwood, patchouli, nagarmota, ambergris and white musk. So I really like how rich and luxurious this uh, perfume smells. And, you know, you don't get a lot of, of fruits and maybe flowers uh, in this perfume. It is more um, sensual and very sexy. And I think that is because of the combo of ambergris and nagarmota. And this perfume is very addictive. I really like it and I'm obsessed with it. The great thing is that it is unisex. And for me... This is just a perfect perfume for any occasion, any time of the year, and I really love this scent because it smells very niche. And when you want something luxurious, you just need this perfume, you can apply it and you will feel yourself so good. And as I've said, it is also very sexy, it is more on the warm, even spicy side, and I just adore this fragrance, and I recommend it to everybody. It doesn't matter which scents you're into, this perfume is just a must-have. So yeah, let's move on to the next perfume, that is called uh, Kalakata, and this is how it looks. So Kalakata is adorable and very elegant, floral, slightly sweet fragrance, with the top notes of cherry, peach, star anise, fields and raspberry. In the heart we have notes of cinnamon, lily of the valley, yeleng yeleng, orchid, rose, jasmine and lilac. And in the base we have notes of sandalwood, white moss and vanilla. So I really like Kalakata because this is a floral, sweet but also very casual perfume. And in my opinion this is a totally feminine scent and it will be beautiful on every woman or girl of any age. And it is also a very round perfume with no sharpness in it, so it will be really nice for the spring or for the summer. And it is also very vibrant with all those fruits in the opening, but it is more on the floral side overall. So yeah, let's move on to the next perfume that is called Staturio. And this is how it looks. So, Staturio is my second favorite perfume from this brand. And it features amazing top notes of lime, green leaves, marine notes, peach and plum. In the heart we have notes of cinnamon, lotus flower, cyclamen, ylang ylang, orchid, jasmine and iris. And in the base we have notes of white musk, vanilla, cedarwood and vetiver. So in the opening you really get that gorgeous salty marina cord. And then we have beautiful bouquet of flowers. And I feel that all those woods and musk and vetiver in the base just make 
um, this scent very niche like as well and also very luxurious. The great thing is that it is definitely a unisex perfume and I personally love it very much because it really captivates um, this lightness and salty marine accord from the opening. And that salty aquatic note is definitely the strongest in the opening when you first apply the perfume. And uh, after that it definitely gets a little bit um, weaker, but um, all in all this is a gorgeous scent. And it really smells also very niche. And I like um, that kind of niche scent that is so luxurious, that is so expensive. And you just apply your perfume and you feel that this is something really um, good quality, you know. So yeah, anyways, uh, let's move on to the last but not least scent that is called Arabiscato and this is how it looks. So Arabiscato is a very sweet and slightly fruity scent that features top notes of cherry, strawberry, peach, bergamot pa and pineapple. Heart notes are uh, marshmallow, magnolia, orchid, rose and jasmine and base notes are vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, white musk and gaia wood. So this fragrance is exotic and definitely very sweet with beautiful fruity opening. I can compare this scent to the Calacata, but Calacata is more on the vanilla side and this perfume has a honey-like sweetness. And in my opinion, it is definitely a feminine perfume because it is just too sweet for a man. And men can wear sweet perfumes, but when I smell this scent, I imagine a woman. And yeah, it will be perfect for those who like gourmandish sweet um, fragrances. So guys, that is basically it for this review and I hope that you enjoyed watching it and you find it helpful and you learned something new. And if you did, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I upload two or three times a week so you will always get something interesting to watch. And also make sure that you check out the description box down below where I will leave a link to the official website of this brand and also all the information about the Francis. So stay tuned and we'll see each other in my next video really soon. Bye.